of course, all the talk around the uh, south, uh, everywhere from, of course, um, Redfern across to Bondi and then south to Malabar and Little Bay. Uh, the talk is, what is going on with Adam Reynolds? Have we got a clearer picture of where Adam will be next year? I know that uh, Chime, Steve Gillis, has to sit down with, um, with, with, with the people at South, obviously, Mark Ellison. I know those two have a good relationship in and out of football. Where does it go from here? Well, I think they went to school together, didn't they? At your I, old... I think Ello went to Pagewood. Oh, did he? Yeah, okay. he tried to okay. get in a but, but he been, wasn't good enough. They've been mates for – they've obviously been extremely thick for mm. many years, which is what makes this circumstance uh, quite unique. Uh, look, I, I think a lot of people figured that the Adam Reynolds contract standoff would get resolved, but as it sits at the moment, there's a meeting on Tuesday uh, – Steve Gillis, who's Adam's agent, uh, has been adamant right the way through negotiations that they won't be accepting accepting terms on a 12-month deal. We got there in the end. Uh, And so as a result, we'll see how how it shakes out on Tuesday. But Mm. I think there's a lot of other elements involved too, like Cody Walker's off contract at the end of next year. They've also got some young gun talent coming through as well at Redfern, uh, and all of that has been thrown into the equation. And that's part of the reasoning from the club about why they they want to do this whole 12-month dance with Adam. Mm. Kenty, would you sign him for longer than, a, than 12 months, knowing that all those other players are coming off contract? Oh, I think you've probably got a clear room to keep him, Gordy. I, look, I don't know what he's on. Um, but he, he is valuable to that team, and for reasons beyond just what he brings as a footballer, yeah. uh, I, I, he's a he's yeah. You go up in sixes with Adam Reynolds in the side. I think that's a big advantage yeah. in the modern game. Uh, you uh, he, he, obviously the captain. Uh, he's for all marketing and all the rest of it. To being a local junior and wanting to you know, growing up around the corner and wanting to always play for the Rabbitohs, all that's important. And I don't think the idea that he they only want to go up in twelve months intervals because they've got. Um, Concerns about his future and his long-term health. I think t- two years is he's got no he's no show no signs of any real injury, so two years is not a long stretch there. Yeah. And I think Gordy, like I, you're not going to keep all those players like that guy, um, Alex Johnson, resign, and they reckon he took up a bit of his money. Uh, Gagai can't stay if if Reynolds resigns, but I, I think you you've just got to make the call. I, I, I'd be certainly finding yeah. the money for him. Do you, do you know what? Um, I was watching Fox over the weekend. I think Mel Meninga. Just said, if he plays that good, back yourself, play really good, and then you might go somewhere else and get another two or three year deal. Like, what's wrong with signing one and backing yourself? Well, like, no, if you're that confident, no. just back yourself. No, no, because he's already at that point. It's not. He's already at that point. It, it, but like the club's it, going, hey, well, hold on, we, you know, we just want one. Yeah, and you, you, you said you back yourself, and if he goes good, then other clubs will come in with money. Well, that's what other clubs are doing now. That's that. Mm. That's the point he's at now. Like, he, he wants a multi-year deal, uh, which which yep. provides him security. And I think that uh, I think I don't. Uh, every player wants that, so I don't have a problem with him wanting security, Gordy. I don't think he's not backing yep. himself. And uh, and I think clubs are coming to him now saying, "Well, mate, if South Australia going to offer you one year, we'll offer more. We'll, we'll give you two or three years, and that's." Yeah, that's mm. pleasing mm. to him. That's what he wants. That's a, he's agreeable to that. That's what he, he, he prefers. So. Maroon, you bleed red and green mm. as a South Sydney member and you know lifelong supporter. How do you feel about this? No, I think I I this is the player to me. We've got to keep him. We've got to. He's got to finish his career at Souths. Whether it's three years, four years, five, he's got to finish his career at Souths. He's part of that premiership side. He is <coughs> important as Souths player to me as Bob McCarthy. Or any of those yeah. players, really? he he, he yeah. means everything to me. This kid come through the ground. He he has been part of the whole turnaround of our club, being competitive every year since he's been there. He's played his first first grade game in 2012. We nearly made the grand final, and we only didn't because he did a hammy. Yep. And Paul, you make a good point that's not made enough in rugby league. When you score a try with Adam Reynolds, you go up in sixes. And how many times do we see a team score three tries and they're only 12 or 14 points? Yep. So I say at all costs, with due respect to every player, I don't care who's got to go, he's got to stay. Wow. Well. Yeah. No, it is a, it's a fascinating scenario. I, I thought it was madness initially when I heard that the club 
was just refusing to budge from 12 months. There's been all sorts of theories that there must be um, bigger picture people involved at the club, you know, like the, the serious power breakers, Russell Crowe, Nick Pappas, whoever it is. Uh, uh, Richo's not there anymore, Shane Richardson, but I think he does still have some sort of um, mm. consultancy involvement with the club. I, I get the feeling as though if he was around – he'd make it happen. Yeah. Like he'd get it done so that Adam got what he wanted. And there's always ways with the salary cap. There's always more than one way that you can skin the cat. You can always find wiggle room and latitude. And, you know, yes, it will probably, well, it's going to mean that they might have to shift some other players, but I think given what he means to the club, I've got to say I'm, I'm surprised with the club being so belligerent about their position. Yeah. Well, these players are talking about two guys that are ready to, you know, that are playing in the lower grades. Obviously, one of them is Taff. Well, it's Blake Taff, it's Lachlan Ilias, and there's another young gun hooker called Peter Mamazoulis. Yeah. And they won the 2019 Jersey flag competition uh, all playing alongside one another. Taff got man of the match, scored a couple of tries. Um, Ilias was an Australian Rugby Union schoolboy, um, but by all reports is, you know, like a game management style of halfback, similar to what Adam was when he was a young kid mm. coming through initially at Redfern, uh, but I guess the million dollar question is whether they're they're ready. Like, they're not ready. They didn't ready. have any football no, at all yeah. last year. Yes, they're back playing again now. I think Taff will probably get a crack later on this season, most mm. likely around State of Origin. Well, we saw him in um, the charity yeah, he had a shield. Crack yeah. in the charity shield. Yeah, mm. yeah. Look, he, it, by all reports, he's going to be a damn good player. But uh, uh, it is a it, it's a strange set of circumstances, especially Kenny, when you think that. There's such a good chance of, of winning a competition this year. And then this is one of the narratives that is now dominating headlines for the opening month of the comp. Yeah, I, 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 th- I get the feeling there's something Souths aren't telling us. There's a reason they don't want to go to two years. I find it quite sort of small, a, a one year or two year. If a salary cap will explain to us what, well, that, that, what's going on. Well, they're saying that it is. Well, that's that, what they're that, saying. But that came out late, Hoops. That didn't come yeah, out initially. Yeah, you're right. Well, initially it was, we don't want to get stuck in another Sam Burgess-style yeah. scenario where we've signed a player on a long-term contract, they get injured, we have to pay them out, and the club gets left footing the bill. Mm. Yeah. Well, so that went around initially, but didn't. Uh, then it changed to no salary cap position, which I, I, you can't argue with, but then you've got to say, well, hang on, is he someone that you need to – shift your, your strategy or, or your emphasis within the mm. cap to keep. And there's a lot of people think he is. The, uh, early in the negotiations, certainly around the people I know and, and I live in the area, you know, it was all about, you know, it's like when you go and try and buy a car, they're going to go in here, you're going to come in here and somewhere we're going to meet in the middle. Yep. And that was all the talk. There was nothing to worry about. We're all going to meet in the middle. Adam was going to be there for at least another two years. But the longer this goes on, Rabbitohs fans are genuinely worried. There was always a view that, yes, at some point they would strike a price, both give a little bit of ground, and in all likelihood it would shake out that he was probably going to end up with a two-year deal. But the Bunnies are adamant they're going to play hardball. And I don't blame Adam Reynolds for taking the position that he's taking either. Now you've got the North Queensland Cowboys that have come in and said, absolutely, we're prepared to offer you a longer-term deal on good dough. So I hope it doesn't come to that uh, because, you know, they're the great stories in the game. The young blokes like Adam Reynolds who come through, it's a junior club, they have success with them, they take the fans on a great ride. Like, you could see from those scenes when he scored that try on Good mm. Friday out there <laughs> yeah. with the little legs pumping <laughs> and then he did the interviews afterwards and then he was over talking to the fans and he mentioned all the you know, messages and the support that he's had from the red and green faithful. I'm, I'm not surprised. Mm. Like, they love him. I yeah, like Kenty mentions it all the time about your salary cap, and we spoke about it at the top of the show. You've got to manage it, and that's what it's coming down to. So they must think we're going to lose some of these young kids, and then they get in the hole. Let me ask you this, Gordy. Is there a little bit of – remember the Roosters made that ruthless decision a couple of years ago with Mitchell Pearce, where they went and signed Cooper Cronk, and – then ultimately Mitchell was forced. They well, said he Mitchell could have stayed. Mitchell would have been there and it would have been a four or five year deal. And then you get the Sam Walkers and all the other young kids that were coming f- through and Kyle Flanagan and he didn't work out. Do you miss out on those guys by signing them? And then they go and have careers. Look at the Bulldogs. So, for instance, Bulldogs had Braith and Shifty Sherwin. Yep. And they let go Jonathan Thurston. 
Yep. You know, and maybe that's what Souths are thinking. You know what I mean? And we're not there. We don't have all the players and what they think and, you know, what they're going to look like moving forward. Um, Has, you know, maybe Adam needs to go somewhere else. They get the three years or he stays there for the one year. And that's all they are prepared to offer him at the moment. That's the unspoken element of all of this. And they're saying that if he does agree to the 12 months, then they're happy to assess it year on year, keep it rolling. As long as he's continuing to play good footy, then yep. he keeps that number seven jumper. But that's that's what we don't know. And that's what the club at this point in time uh, really wax and well, lyrical. It makes it Mate, it's happening at Penrith now with Burton, mm. isn't it? It's actually happening with Matt Burton. He was there and... I'm sure they would love to keep him because they're trying to play him in the centres. Um, but, you know, they made a choice and it's Cleary and you, uh, Lua, Lua and they're doing an absolutely fantastic job. I think they're – but at one stage it was Lua, Lua and Burton going head to head. Yep. You know, and they had the luxury, but Burton went. Mm. Well, we like to think you hoops is our Adam Reynolds, mate, only that at, the real Adam Reynolds has got – Better tattoos, but mate, you are our Adam Reynolds. We can't go forward. Mate, if you're going to start driving blokes about bad tattoos, no, no. I'll be very careful. I was giving you a rap. It's Easter, brother.